All right, guys, the time has come, and it's a time of the year when I normally would come in and clean out my chicken run and my chicken coop and get it ready for the cooler weather. Get ready to winterize the coop and run and make sure that the layers that I have housed here are going to be safe and comfortable in this space over the cooler months. And this is just broken down chicken poop and dry leaves that I placed here last fall. And so I started off with about 12 inches of dried leaves to start this deep litter bedding method here. And over the months, I added more and more dried leaves. And as you can see, it's broken down pretty well in here. So I'm going to now remove this and add this to my raised bed where I can break down some more over the fall and winter months and it'll be ready for planting in for the following year garden season so besides composting natural materials on a compost pile using the hot composting method i also do the deep litter bedding method with these chickens here in the coop over the winter months and i can add it directly to the beds at the end of gardening season so that way i can have that broken down a little more and it will be ready for gardening for the next garden season. So this is pretty much free natural fertilizer. We utilize everything here as much as we can. And as you can see, I have them here stored in these um, chicken feed bags. So I'm actually reusing these bags as well as the broken down material here, the chicken poop, the leaves, you know, spent weeds from the garden and stuff like that. And now it's nice and clean in here. It's still a little bit dusty, so I have some dusting to do in here, get rid of the cobwebs, making sure that this area is nice and clean and ready. For these layers at the change of season, I have my thermostat in place. And the thing about it is that when I do this and I clean it out this way, I'm going to leave it bare for about a day or two just so that I can see what the poop looks like. I can come in and assess what's going on with them. But for now, I'm gonna store these in the wood shed that I have here. And this is because I still have some stuff growing in my garden and this is not quite ready for growing in. I do not want it to burn the plant. It's the end of the season and I still have things that need to be harvested. So I'm gonna store them in here away from any rain or moisture at this point until I'm ready for my fall garden cleanup. And then I can actually add them to the beds incorporated in the soil. And as you can see right here, I have some wood ash. I'm also gonna be adding this to my garden. And I get the wood ash from when we have our fire out here going, whether we are using it for cooking on or whether we're enjoying some warmth out here because we do enjoy the outdoors, especially this time of the year. In the late summer when it's really cool at nighttime and it's really cool early in the morning before the sun comes up. Hello ma'am, good morning. So what I did the next day was just come in and check on the consistency of their poop. Most of the birds were um, roosting on the back roost right here. And everything looks good. Nothing to be concerned about, nothing to worry about. And I get to have a good look at their poop to see what it looks like, to see if they might have any issues. I know this is gross for some, but this is all part of this lifestyle and in order for me to catch anything early that might be going on with my flock I have to come in and assess their poop, assess their behavior, see whatever is going on here just to make sure that everything is going fine, keep it nice and clean and comfortable for the flock. Now that that part of the assessment is done, I am going to get this place cleaned up. And for now, just add some pine shavings in here until the leaves from the trees decide to dry and fall to the ground where I can have an abundance of leaves to add here in the coop to begin this year's deep litter bedding composting method. And this deep litter bedding method is beneficial in many different ways because it provides a source of heat for the chickens while they're here in the poop during the cooler months because when you have the chicken poop which is nitrogen and the dried brown leaves which is carbon you have them compiled together in layers and because of that urea content in that chicken poop it heats up the material which then causes it to break down and turn into rich natural compost for your garden now one advice i would have as far as using animal droppings just make sure that if you're not raising it yourself that if you're obtaining it from anyone else or anywhere else that your source environment is safe and free of any materials that you wouldn't want to introduce to your garden or any growing space that you're using 
This is all for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next upload.